lesson. I got a message, actually, to be honest, uh, some 15 minutes ago from Stefano saying, you are not live on streaming. But I don't know why, because there is uh, the icon saying live, live streaming. Yes, yes, now I can see it. Yes, yeah. I see it live. I see it too. No, it's always been there. Now I'm also recording just in case. But I couldn't uh, see that live before. Eh? I see it now, but when I entered, I couldn't see it. I don't know why, but I could see it. Anyway, I'm also recording now. Uh, okay, anyway, sorry. Lucky I could see. Okay, uh, right, sorry. Uh, so yes, um, I've, I lost a part of your uh, speech, Antonella. What were you talking about? Oh yes, you did something um, uh, for history, uh, for civic, civic education. Mm -hmm. It is about, uh, it is in Italian language, not in English. Because, yes, because, because I teach, teach Italian. Teacher. So uh, I was um, um, saying, um, I was told you about uh, um, uh, an activity I, do, I did in, uh, in the first class. Uh, we, we call it uh, uh, Safe Together because yeah. we talk about uh, the COVID and COVID, yes. I... I the in student, alphabetical order. Yes, they look. They have to look for the all the words in alphabetical order about COVID, and connected uh, with. Them. Mm -hmm, they found they found many many words, and uh, I can imagine. Second, yes, many. And uh, in the second class, we write. Uh, we wrote a poem, a simple poem. Uh, wow about uh, the rules uh, in, the, in this period of uh, the epidemic, so okay. Uh -huh. um, another, um, this is in the, we, we, we did uh, these activities in the, in October about, uh, and uh -huh. in November you, we, um, we have another, we had another activity about the, our library in my school. Uh, so my class um, um, went to the library to classify, organize, 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 organize the, the, the book. And uh, we wrote the rules to use the library. And we put uh, some uh, <laughs> cartelloni, no, so I don't know. A poster, a poster. A poster, a poster. Um, so the students suggested the rules. Then we talk about it, them. And then they wrote the, the rules for the students um, of all the, the school, not our, not for all our students. Not your class only. Yeah. Yes, for all the school. Okay. Um, this is the. And so you evaluated all these activities yes. with different marks. Yes, and the, uh, before they they have to self evaluate it and uh, they propose their vote, their valutation. Then we talk uh, in group, and then uh, I, I write my, I, the, the, the vote I decided. Yes, you have it written, but okay, in this case you wrote, but if you want to use uh, the other form, you have written. Mm -hmm. To write, wrote, written. Okay, thank you. So thank you. The valutation that they suggest me. They have yes. Suggested. Yes. Yes. Evaluation and evaluate. Um, ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. Evaluate. Okay. So these are good ideas, but it's all in Italian. You know, it's more difficult, I think, in English because uh, it links. Uh, I mean, it's more difficult to link it with your uh, teaching, with your uh, topics, with your sub, you know, with what you no, teach. It's not that the point. Yes, I mean, but I, uh, I think mean... that in English they can try to to say some words, only words, maybe not in. Uh, in uh, in a, um, my lessons, I had a PowerPoint with them. I showed them a PowerPoint, and uh, Hi, we, uh, hello, and I gave um them papers 
to complete the missing words. Just oh, to where, care. just uh, whatever was, and that and that's all. Yeah. I did that. Yeah, we were talking about uh, civic education. Pier Francesco, welcome. We were talking about civic education and how to evaluate it. Okay, so, it's interesting. I'm sorry, <laughs> I was uh, coming from school right now, and I... no problems, no problems. You cut your hair. Yes, <laughs> finally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do you evaluate uh, civic education? What do you do and what? Uh... Well, uh, for me, for, for instrument is, um, well, um, we, um, it's like uh, the conduct, um, the behavior, behavior? behavior yes. Yes. something like that. And also um, we see the behavior, especially in uh, when they play the or in the or orchestra. Of course, uh, in this uh, at this time we don't uh, have uh, orchestra in presence, but uh, little groups. And by the way, congratulations yes. on the beautiful, beautiful oh. video you managed to make. Oh, thank yes. you. Yes, <laughs> Francesco, it was really nice. That's right. Really? I, 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 I don't remember. I sent, I sent, to, I sent it to you. Okay. I, yes, you send it to us. Great yes. job, really, really. Because I sent you something about, uh, I don't know, from the Fermus Orchestra. Mm -hmm. And so in reply, you sent us your video. And ah, it was yes. Uh, oh, okay. I, I remember. Like uh, a greeting. It was hard work because I, I listened to, there was at least a hundred of little voices and I had I to know. add the, one uh, put them one together <laughs> it was I don't also know how very you could make it. very um, touching i, I mean uh, it's uh, because you you enter in someone the, you receive yes. the the voice of one little st um, child student uh, one little yeah. kid and uh, there is uh, someone who's who is um, singing very very well and i was uh, really surprised about uh, about that Wow. Um, okay, but well, just one question, Pierre Francesco. One question. Si. Uh, because we did that last last year. I mean, not not for Christmas, but for the end of the year with si. instruments and voices. But the three teachers had to. I don't know that in English, but to uh, set the set them together. I mean, the voices are not perfectly perfectly together, and the instruments uh, live are not perfectly together. So they had to do something to put them perfectly together. Did you do that? In, it's a kind of manipulation, right? Yes, yes. Uh, I digitally elabor elaborate and um, set uh, all the... Um, I can also you change the tune. You assembled uh, the music and the voices uh, yes. uh, all together. I shouldn't tell that, but uh, also I can uh, correct the, the tuning of the voice. Yeah. So, um, of course, uh, if, uh, did you do that? Did you if, do that? if the voice is really out of tune, it's very hard because yeah. it's not possible. But when, he, when you are a little bit uh, not in pitch, I can correct a little bit and it, 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 you can uh, obtain a perfect, a perfect voice, a perfect wow. tuning. And, uh, the more you correct it, the the, the better result. The better is uh, the the final result, and also the the time. <laughs> so I'm uh, really impressed. Really, I, I was embarrassed because um, uh, I started. The, um, also, I I made a soloist uh, a soloist uh, version for the better one. So I, I, after that, I was really sorry because I, I didn't like to um, select, to make a yes, selection to of only a few. Choice, yes. So uh, after that, I started to correct uh, the, not the, the, the better one, but almost all of them. Uh, so that, that was a uh, very difficult work, but it was very impressive. And also for the, for the parents, they always, uh, Thank to me because it's, they they have now uh, something that ca they can uh, be um, for um, so f 
as a, a memory of uh, this. Yes, this time. a very good memory. Yeah, they must be very proud of you. <laughs> yes, but anyway, I, I was I was wondering if he, if uh, Pier Francesco had to correct something, but you did mm. correct something. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> don't tell. Because we did, I, and yeah, also did. in the choir that you sent us with one of my favorite songs, "Memories Bring Back Memories Bring Back You." Yeah, uh, that mm. they they are wonderful, of course, but they did correct something eh? because. Mm. When you see the single uh, person, a single child singing, sometimes you can see from the labial, from the lips, uh, that they are not perfectly singing that word. Okay, see, they are not per right. perfectly on on time. In ta on time, can you say on time? On yes, in the tempo, okay, tempo in, in yeah, in the on time. Yes, so, on time. Yeah, yeah. So so that, so that you can spot that they corrected something. So, yes, they definitely corrected something. But anyway, the result is very nice, and yeah, so uh, I think for the kids it's really really gratifying to have something like that. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, yes very worthy for At sure. At least uh, we can we can also make some music even uh, we, if we, if we can uh, not do it in presence. And anyway, you can correct uh, the pitch and also the um, the tempo, the time, the um, yeah synchronization. Yeah, the synchronization, right? If uh, someone is going too fast, uh, you can a little bit. Maybe uh, it's a sync. Yeah, that's the point. Synchronizing, okay? That's the point because mm -hmm. they are not perfectly it's synchronized. A... Yes, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I think it's a with a Y synchronization. I'll check it. Yes, yeah, see, I yeah. think it's it's right. Well, we don't many, care, Maria Pia. We don't care. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 but uh, don't worry. There are many music musical terms. Uh, oh, it's even worse than that. Yeah. It's synchronized with the ch, synchronize and synchronization. I would have said that that that's a ch. Yeah, with the ch. Sorry. Synchronize. So yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. What were you telling us, Pierre Francesco? Oh no, I'm so sorry to you because you are to you're talking about uh, civil uh, education. Anyway, civil I finish the yes. uh, next uh, next uh, next music we will uh, prepare will be the Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean. So wow, uh, <laughs> <I> <laughs> that did sounds it, uh, difficult though. Uh, yes, uh, pretty difficult. But uh, we will work. We 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 have, we have uh, more time now, because the problem of uh, set uh, uh, performance for Christmas is that the mm -hmm. the year is uh, starting at the um, beginning. Yes. Yeah. Now we have uh, more weeks. Yes. So. And Four I did the months. I did the pi uh, this uh, the Pirate of the Caribbean in two hundred and seven. It was the first uh, movie in the in the cinema, and all my students oh, yeah. at that time played. Uh, um, I had to play it uh, with the, the orchestra, the school orchestra, for many years because the, the pa pa parents and also the students uh, told me, "Let's do it again." Uh, <laughs> they liked it a lot. I couldn't, I couldn't uh, listen to it anymore. Uh, <laughs> now. Uh, there are more, uh, after a couple of years you yeah, can... I, I can propose it uh, one more Again. time I, I have <laughs> because I know I know the um, all the students uh, like very much this I don't remember the melody Francesco how is it is the something like this uh, yeah um I'm not sure. I'm not particularly maybe, keen. Maybe you, if you can play it, yes. Maybe I'm not particularly it. keen on Paris of the Caribbean. It's not my, my genre. <laughs> um, there are many. It's, it's famous. The most famous is the. Uh, oh, yes. Da -da -dum -dum, da -da -dum -dum. Oh, that's it. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Sounds difficult anyway, yeah? Yes, it sounds difficult. Well, we, we will play it a little bit slower with the students, but anyway, it, it will be it will be good. Yeah. <laughs> I hope. Wow. You're very good. I thought you played at the piano, Pier Francesco. Uh, I can also play the piano, yeah. I made a composition study in conservatory also. Uh, so I can ar arrange better the music for all the instruments. It's, it's very good to know um, 
not too much, but a little bit of all the instruments, especially the instrument of the Definitely, students yeah. that I am working with. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I what about civic education? How do you evaluate civic education on uh, how they behave among the orchestra? Yeah, the behavior in the orchestra. I am receiving right now all the, um, the schedule the, uh, for from from my colleagues, and I have to fill it uh, with uh, our. And I will, uh, yeah, I will think. Also, in this time, I will um, I will think about uh, the uh, puntualità. The, they sent they sent me. Be fair on the, time. All, yeah, all the material, that the, all the recordings, and uh, also the, um, because maybe one, um, one of them, uh, one of the students is very interesting and uh, very, uh, see, dedicated, dedicated, let's see. Because we were wondering, Pre Francesco, before you came in, because we do have a voto di comportamento, okay? Yeah. So it cannot be the same thing. Yeah, that's right. It's, uh, but for... You know, for musical instrument, I was thinking something but I don't remember right now. Mm. Yeah, it's not easy to combine uh, civic education with all subjects. Yes. But you know, the, some of my colleagues, uh, actually three colleagues, uh, are doing a course now because this is brand new, so we are not prepared and they are doing a course and they said there is a law. I didn't know there was a law about that, but I suppose there is if we have a new subject at school. And so they are doing the course and according to the law, there is a definition, which I don't have anyway. And there is a definition and also there is a curriculum with, with the things that must be in. It's not saying what you should, you can add something else, of course, but there are some, uh, I mean, compulsory points that you must have uh, in the curriculum of uh, civil education. But I don't know yet. Uh, I don't want to know because we have scrutiny next week. So I don't want to know. <laughs> yes, and I so, think it's law number nine uh, of. Uh, uh, but I don't want 20. to know, Maria Pia, because okay. if, you say, if you tell me, I will go and see it. And I don't want to know because okay, I, haven't got, I haven't got any time to go and do something else right now yeah, because yeah, we are doing yeah, something right. next yeah. week. Okay, right. So, yeah. but yes. anyway, it's not fair. It's unfair like that. I mean, it's unfair. <laughs> and, and, you know, we haven't got fussy families. Yeah. Not, not particularly on Marx, uh, uh, fussy families on something else, but not on Marx. But if I were a parent, and if I saw, uh, let's say, six in civil education, I would go and ask the teachers, how did Why? you evaluate that? What did you do? Okay, and I'm really scared about that. If, if I ask, if they ask me, I don't know what to answer. <laughs> Well, tell the children clearly that you are going to give this mark as an evaluation on civic education. Yeah, yeah. But what is civic education? We go back to the starting point, okay? Yes, what is civic yes. education? <laughs> yeah, it can be everything, to be honest. It can be everything. I realized so, that, that um, we, will t we were talking with my colleagues to, to make um, a program about uh, Inno Nazione and then national anthem. anthem. The anthem, yes, the anthem. And so it's uh, more close to this, um, to the, um, yes, civil education. Yes, I'm trying to uh, higher, mm -hmm. higher up the volume a little bit because I can't hear you very well. Okay, right. Uh, yes, yes, you need to agree as a group of teacher, uh, you know, about the topics, about the evaluation, about all these kind of things. Uh, for the moment, do your best. <laughs> yes. What are you going to... Is iPhone back with us? Hello, who is uh, this iPhone? Well, you are. Re register with iPhone under the name of iPhone. I don't know. Anyway, so who else wants to say something about this topic? 
Well, I think you, you could also ask the children to do something, choose a general topic like, I don't know, freedom, to say something, and ask the children to, uh, to make some kind of work on that specific topic and see what comes out. You can make them work uh, if you, if you uh, are going are uh, doing online lessons you can make them work in pairs or in groups and uh, some of them may decide to make a song some of them may decide to make a rhyme a, a poem uh, some of them may i don't know make a painting or um, something like that and uh, maybe you can evaluate uh, uh, the ideas and uh, uh, the concepts uh, they can express and uh, the way. Um, and if you want to do it in, uh, in English, uh, you can always use uh, um, word, word hippo. You can ask them to use word hippo because in word hippo, they can find many synonyms, uh, antonyms, and rhymes as well. So if you need uh, to use a word different from the usual nice, for example, which is, oh, sorry, which is overused, uh, you can find many other, you know, possibilities of many, many kind. And you can also look for rhymes if they want to compose a poem. So ice, price, slice, and so on and so on. And that can be useful to them. Yes, but it's pretty difficult, Maria Pia. Eh? Why? But they can because make they are it. Kids. They are kids. I know, but a very easy uh, poem like uh, uh, Freedom is Nice, for example, <laughs> something like that, you know something very easy, but uh, um, something which makes them think about what freedom really is, uh, because uh, uh, this can be an idea of uh, uh, making them, you know, um, organize uh, their ideas on this topic. I said freedom could be anything else, yeah. uh, recycling or whatever, whatever. Uh, because uh, this helps uh, them reason on the on the things, uh, develop their own thoughts uh, instead instead of waiting for every everything to be told to them, you know, and uh, absorb them, uh, you know, in a in a uh, passive way. So, and you can make a mark on that on that work. That's an idea. Actually, everything could be treated as a civic education <laughs> because it's such a large subject, you know, everything can be part of it from, uh, yes, recycling and uh, e ecology to freedom, to respect of the rules, so to whatever, actually, mm -hmm. every day, yes. Yes, but I do think that it should be something that they are interested in. I mean, my, my colleagues are doing the constitution. I know it's important and I have to do that. But sometimes it is very boring if you just face the articles one by one without yeah. uh, trying to uh, search something inside their lives. Okay. So I would like to do something that is useful for them. If I have to do that in English, it yeah. should be something useful and should be something interesting. Pleasant. Yes. That's why I told you uh, to invite them to think about maybe freedom. And when they uh, collect uh, a number of ideas, uh, you can say in our constitution and, uh, you know, or, or, you know, start from them, basically, from what uh, their uh, imagination, creativity, and so on uh, can make out uh, of a, a, a topic. And starting from them, it's easier to link uh, and make it more, um, how can I say, pleasant. Uh, as, a, as a topic. And you can do it in English, even if they know uh, 
few words. Uh, they can always look them up on the dictionary and uh, with the word hippo, they can find uh, then uh, uh, synonyms uh, and, uh, and, you know, yeah, opposites. Yeah, yeah. The problem is bigger than that because you give for granted you give for granted that they all can go on the internet and use the internet. They they do do not, Maria Pia. They do I, not. I know, but you can do that together in school. Oh, oh we lost someone. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You can also work uh, in groups or do. But we cannot it. work in groups uh, up to nine now. We cannot. Yes, but yes, if you're not online, you cannot because you have to keep a distance. Yes. You can if you are online, though, in their afternoon homework, this kind of things. Or you can do it in school, in the class. In the class, it's very difficult. I mean, I, 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 I see the point, but uh, remember that we have three hours per week English, okay? And yeah. in second, I, the I, am still, I am still doing the things of the uh, book one. I haven't, I haven't charged the book yet, okay? So yeah. I think I have enough to do. Uh, the parent will, will ask me, but it's not the point. I'm not so particularly keen in doing all the program. The program doesn't exist, doesn't exist anyway yeah. for the minister, okay? But you do have the invalsi in Terza Media, and this. F in Valsi, the word that I cannot say, ask you, asks you for the for the program, okay? They ask for yeah. the level A2. And the level A2 means a lot of grammar, a lot of grammar. And I don't reach that point, never, never, because it is too wide. It is impossible to do that. I, so what I happens just... if, a, if a, a student goes uh, bad in invalsi test it means that the face uh, we, we, mm, with which he presents himself to the scuola superiore is a bad face okay that's the point ah. and i don't want my good student to no. have a bad presentation no because i do course. have some good students and so i sometimes try to give them just you know tips or hints of hey, you will find the present you will find the will uh, you will find the future you will find this just you know yeah. quick quick tips to help them face the invalsi okay yeah. but and we are lucky yet because in the invalsi we will have i think I, I hope we will not but we will have the test on the language mm. and if we will have if we have the, that if we have that it will be hell for us because yeah. the test on the language means all the A2 level and we don't reach the A2 level, never. It's, it's difficult impossible. to reach it, yes. Yeah, it's uh, the usual problem, you know. On one side, you would like to do something uh, pleasant for the children and uh, which improves uh, their creativity and, uh, uh, you know, and on the other side, you have to give marks, uh, reach a certain level, uh, do grammar. Uh, I know, I know. Yeah. What do you think about it or the others? I agree with uh, Adriana. The same uh, problem is uh, for the Italian language because we have the invalsi pro um, proof uh, program. program, and we have to do some many grammar, many many grammar a because lot, a lot of grammar, lots, yes. because in the in the tests in the invalsi tests uh, they ask uh, um, they ask the the three years program. Uh, you you do uh, you did the, in the uh, in the middle school because they ask the analysis grammatical the grammar analysis the the um, logic and the period the, th the three kinds of uh, um, so it is um, a lot of grammar and you have to to teach them the comprehension too because there is a text, they have to read and answer the, 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 the questions. questions yeah. um, uh, uh, so um, it is very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, we, we have to do many topics and uh, the, the, the problem advice is very, very important. 
Uh, so I agree with Adriana for the, the same uh, situation in, in Italian, in the, in the Italian language. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and imagine you can, if you want to laugh a bit, you can laugh with that. Um, imagine kids, because the invasi is uh, on a PC, okay? So imagine kids who are not very familiar with PC. So I, uh, I take that. Why is it? That. Why is it to be made on the computer? Is it, it is a... completely computerized, completely. English, the English test is completely on the computer, the Italian one as well, okay. So they have to face something that is vertical and not a, a paper. And especially they have to write. I mean, luckily, luckily, most of the tests, you just have, you know, to click uh, multiple choice and like that. But there are some items where you have to write, okay, yeah. write. So imagine if, when you have the reading test in the reading part in English, uh, you have time enough because you can choose. I mean, it's not infinite, but you have a certain amount of time you can cope with. But when you have the listening, you have no time because it's a blah, 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 and then another one starts. Okay, so I have some kids that need two minutes to find out the T on the tastiera, on the key, on the keyboard, okay? So the meantime that they find out the T, they blah, 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 it's going on, it's going on. <laughs> exactly what I do, Maria. Exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I thought kids nowadays uh, are very good with com were very good with computers so though. <laughs> no, they are very good with the smartphones, which is different. Yeah. You're right. Hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. You're lucky, Pier Francesco. Music is not one of the subjects uh, <laughs> which are part of Invalsi test. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm lucky. And we don't uh, have a lesson in that time. We don't um, make a lot of homework to our students. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. To allow them uh, practicing for invalsi. Yeah. That's why. <sighs> Poor students. I know there are many, many wrong things mm -hmm. in school. And one of them is uh, this obsession with uh, tests and marks and evaluation and uh, these kind of things you know uh, sorry i'm receiving a message right now but we are in uh, orange zone in veneto yes yeah. so also it, for the weekend uh, from the 17th of january so yeah from, from monday yes i think something like that yes and what about uh, the weekend uh, saturday and sunday so they showed me uh, the, um, uh, Italy image and uh, Veneto is uh, orange. Lombardia is uh, red. Wow. Wow. I thought Veneto could be red too. Yeah. Maybe our hospitals are still. Mm. Yeah. Maybe our hospitals uh, still have some uh, free uh, beds. Uh, and these kind of things. But I, I was wondering, but uh, with the red zone, you the, the you school are the school are, clo are closed. House. Yes, and the school uh, the school are closed, uh, of course. Yes, right? and the schools are closed in the red zone, and you cannot go out of your house. In the orange area. You can you must stay within the limit of the municipality unless you live in a small villages less than 5000 inhabitants, in which case you can, uh, you know, go beyond the borders of the village and uh, for, I think, a perimeter of about 30 kilometers all around, right. but not in a different region. And uh, and then, of course, uh, what is it now? Uh, yellow and white areas, but uh, we will not be in a yellow or, or white area for sure. Either orange or red. I feared, I was afraid that we could be uh, in the red area because Veneto is not going very well. 
but maybe I don't, I don't know yet in the chat i have a we have a chat of all our school teacher mm -hmm. and they posted uh, just an email uh, an image but i'm not sure of it of this a text a message did you get a text a message no, uh, probably they are writing something but not yet sorry message yeah a text a message and un sms yes mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay, well, we can't go to ski. No skiing for the moment. No skiing. So it, uh, it is better that uh, the, it is snowing here in the, near our house, so we can uh, ski in, uh, in our garden. Our courtyard, yes, yes. in our <laughs> courtyard. <laughs> we can ski in our courtyards. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think that no regions is white because uh, all the regions are yellow or orange or red not uh, not uh, any regions can be white in this period yeah what's this no uh, sorry i was uh, right. natalie is a fantastic business partner <laughs> and it was really br a brilliant idea to check in my job to become a no i didn't i didn't want sorry i didn't want to interrupt it i just was um, to pro, for uh, pro, for memorize it because i'm reading i am reading a, a book in english <laughs> trying to refresh my very bad english and mm -hmm. uh, I'm, there is some something that uh, still, at least, and it will be it uh, it will be all it will all be my fault it's a very little thing but all I all is is not isn't all the after B. It will be all my fault. Or is yes. That, uh, is it, is it while same? speaking, they don't really mind so much at grammar. The idea is it'll all be my fault. Uh, the idea is uh, uh, completamente colpa mia, yes. totalmente colpa mia. While it'll be all my fault. Uh, uh, see, it's the same actually. <laughs> no difference, as a matter of fact. Uh, and, and the next team is a chuck, chuck in the job. And, yeah. and I saw different and maybe opposite uh, some significant meaning, meanings. Yes, meanings. Because meanings. Uh, on uh, Google, tra traduttore Google, translator, uh, mandare yeah. avanti il lavoro. Instead, uh, the, in, in some other, chucking is soffocare. Yeah, or... to chuck is soffocare, but to chuck in means... Uh, mm, Andare can... avanti. Yes. Okay. Push, uh, um, how can you say? Uh, yeah. Andare avanti. Perché un'altra yeah. definizione diceva mollare il lavoro, però no, in realtà è mandare avanti, giusto? Yes, if I had to translate this, I would translate it as mandare avanti, nel senso dare una spinta al mio lavoro, mm -hmm. uh, to become headhunter with her. Um, just a second. Caroline! I'm going to ask my daughter. Mm -hmm. Caroline! She doesn't know either. <laughs> well, it depends. Let's see what it would be translated on uh, Google Translator, just to, to have an idea. Mm -hmm. Of course, you cannot um, trust Google Translator, but uh, if you um, put an entire sentence, it tends to give you the correct answer, the correct translation of the single word. 
La pagina Fai è stata un'idea davvero brillante a buttarmi nel lavoro, ah, ecco. dice. Per diventare una cacciatrice. Ah, to chuck in my job, buttarmi nel lavoro per diventare una cacciatrice di testa con un lei. Ah, buttarsi nel lavoro in questo senso. Perché eh. sì, perché se, non, non capivo, se, non, è, non che fosse importante, ma se il senso era che aver rinunciato al proprio lavoro per, no, fare, per, no, mettersi, no. per mettersi insieme a questa qua oppure eh, per buttarsi in questo lavoro di insieme. Esatto, no, no, eh, esatto. Il significato è eh, sì, dare una spinta al lavoro, in questo caso esatto. sì, buttarmi nel lavoro per diventare, sì. Sorry Maria Pia, what did you do to do that? To do that? Uh, we were wondering about a translation we couldn't understand, which uh, uh, Pier Francesco wrote in the chat. I okay. don't know how to go back now. Um, uh, Uh, I normally use the translator only for words. So how could you have the, 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 the whole uh, test, the whole text? Um, well, uh, Pier Francesco wrote it on the chat. Ah, okay, okay. Because um, I normally don't trust the translator for a No, you test. cannot trust Google Translator yeah. at all. But if you put an entire sentence, it's more likely they give you the correct, uh, you know, definition of the word. If you put only Chuck, uh, Chuck, it'll probably give you something completely different. Okay, because uh, there but, is a context, because there is the context. Yes, because, course. yes. But anyway, I would not trust it uh, as a whole. No, no, but uh, I think in this case, uh, it was correct. It was a really brilliant idea to Chuck in my job to become a headhunter with her. I would, I would, I could not understand that. I mean, I could not translate that. Yeah, as a matter Chuck. of fact, uh, I was, I was wondering myself, and I, I, I would have translated as, è stata un'idea brillante, come si può dire, andare avanti col lavoro per diventare un headhunter. Di testa, sì. Google Translator diceva buttarsi nel lavoro per diventare. Because there are two completely, uh, two translations with completely different meanings. One is mandare avanti il lavoro, chuck in the job, and the other one is mollare il lavoro. <laughs> But uh, I'm sure in this case, Google Translator did a good job. I mean, it was correct. So, yeah, sometimes it's not easy. You, you have to, um, how can I say, um, understand uh, the meaning of the words from the context. Because oh, yes, uh, many times you have to do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, but I mean, sometimes uh, the same word can have uh, uh, two or three different meanings uh, and which are some times opposite one from the other. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, so Antonella, Barbara, Sabrina, tell us something. Diteci qualcosa. <laughs> what? What? I don't know. <laughs> What would you like to do today? What would you like to talk about? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I actually don't know. I have no fantasies now. <laughs> no fantasies. Because just work and work hard. And yes. uh, I don't know. It's I don't think effect. about dreams. <laughs> when, uh, what uh, will we do when that uh, nightmare finishes? You know. <laughs> I can't even imagine it now. <laughs> yes, I can. I can imagine. I have bought a new suitcase for me and Good. I will immediately start traveling. Immediately. Yeah. A suitcase. Where will you go? A suitcase. Uh, I don't know where I can. Oh, yeah. a suitcase. suitcase. I, okay, sorry. Suitcase. Yes. I bought a suitcase, a new one. And so I will immediately start uh, traveling again. And I don't know where I will go. I have no idea, but wherever I can. If I can go to uh, Ireland, I will. If I can go to the States, I will. If I can go to Russia, I will. Anyway. Yes, I'm looking I will forward. Not go, I will not go to Istanbul, that's for sure. Why not? Because I don't want to see that man. <laughs> I, don't want to give that, I don't want to give him money, not my money. 
Oh, anyway, okay. I've already been to Istanbul. But, Erdogan, uh, you mean? Yes, of course, I mean him. <laughs> but <laughs> yes. I don't know. Going at anywhere. Yeah. Anyway. Yes, I'm looking forward to be able to travel in again myself. Yes. Yeah. And you know, according to, I tell you, uh, because as a guide, I also work as a guide, and this yeah. is a kind of, oh, let's hope it's true, wishful thinking. But I, I, I have read some, uh, what is it? Uh, um, uh, anyway, articles, uh, newspaper articles, uh, according to which, uh, Many, many people uh, got, uh, um, how can I say, um, refunds from the various, from the various airline, uh, you know, uh, flights uh, they had booked. And, uh, uh, and so they've got a bonus to, uh, to be used mm -hmm. within a certain period of time. So as soon as uh, this pandemic finishes, uh, or as soon as uh, they can fly again, they will take advantage of it and they will uh, travel uh, more than before. So mm -hmm. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to see this prediction you know, come to uh, become real because I really need to work uh, as a guide again. It will not be immediate. We know that. Maybe from September onwards. Mm. Luckily. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, that uh, the, when the epidemic uh, will finish, all the planes uh, um, will be full. So we yes. we have to work it because uh, all the people want to 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 travel, travel again want to travel again. anywhere 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 but go away <laughs> yes yes you're yes. yeah, right my After husband has a dream a... to go to the um, to norway to see the midnight uh, midnight sun so you should go there. I, I, in... want, I want to go to warmer places anyway. Maybe we'll go alone. Because <laughs> <laughs> <it's, laughs> I'm yeah. fed up of cold. <laughs> you go there uh, in summer and uh, as, the, as for the climate, you will be in winter again. <laughs> it's yes. not convenient to me. My dream was to go and see the Northern Lights, uh, Aurora Borealis. Mm. But uh, again, not this year. And no. even the midnight sun, I mean, you should go there towards the 21st of June yeah. to see the midnight from sun. The, from May, I arrived last year. From May to July. Yes. And yes, August. Yes, much other in July. And quite late. It depends on how much north oh, you go. Yeah. I went there in July and uh, yes, I've got pictures uh, uh, taken at the 2, 3 a.m. and uh, it looks like if it's uh, midday. <laughs> um, so yes, the nights, the days were still very long and the nights uh, didn't exist <laughs> yet. So July is also from my, I took the photo from my profile at dawn at the five o'clock, one summer morning. <laughs> and I'm content with this. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yes, July is still okay, but if you wait until end of August, September, you will not see the midnight, midnight oh, sun. No. <laughs> it's late, it's late. Yeah. And, but you won't see the Aurora Borealis either. Either, no, you're right, you're right. Aurora Borealis can be, can usually be seen in uh, uh, November, December, January, maybe February. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 2022, 20, 20, 20, eh? What? Yes, maybe in 2022. Yeah. Not uh, this year, unfortunately. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's. Uh, <laughs> We can, well, we can dream. I normally dream uh, during, you, you can do some virtual tours, which are very nice. Some of them are really very nice. So yeah. sometimes when I need to escape, I need to escape, I do some virtual tours and that's, and you must um, be happy with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Uh, you mean you find uh, something on the internet, or I do you find mean... everything on the internet? Yes, oh, but I, my idea was: Do you really book a virtual tour with no. a guide explaining no, no. you? No, free. You free. can go One free. The, I mean, just you just look at it. You know, visit a museum. You visit yeah. the city. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tonight at a quarter past nine on uh, Rai Cinque. Rai 5, there should be something about uh, Carlo Scarpa and our museum, uh, Castelvecchio Museum. Mm. So must be interesting. Mm. Maybe if I have time, if I finish my meeting in time, because I've got a meeting starting at 7.30 tonight. Mm. If uh, it finishes by quarter past nine, which it should, Mm -hmm. I'll uh, I'll see what uh, what well, it, was nice. it is late. But not so yes, long. yes, yeah. Meeting should be finished by then. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, but anyway, yes. Uh, anyway, uh, quarter past nine on uh, Rai five. Um. There is uh, this program on uh, um, Carlos Scarpa, the architect who restored the Castelvecchio and our Castelvecchio Museum. Should be interesting. Yeah. Would be. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, where would you like to go, Pier Francesco? Or what would you like to do when the pan pandemic finishes? Oh, I would like to go playing my violin uh, all around Europe. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I if we will anyway, but I would like. <laughs> yeah, do you do concerts all around Europe? Uh, I mm, right now school is ab absorbing all my <laughs> my time, my energy. But uh, in the past, I I did uh, see I was I join I was joining um, an orchestra. Uh, Chamber, chamber orchestra, and we played um, in, in France and in Germany. Wow, fantastic. Did you also have time to visit those countries a little yes. bit? Yes, is, uh, because we, we have uh, um, re re rehearsals, practicing time, uh, but uh, rehearsals. Not, not much hours, and then you, have, you are free to go uh, make uh, the tourist <laughs> where, you, yeah. where you are. Sightseeing a little bit, the sightseeing. Yeah. A little, you can go sightseeing uh, a mm. little bit, yeah. Yes, in 1991, well, a lot of time ago, I I was with the orchestra of Arena di Verona and we, we, were, we were playing uh, La Turandotte in Japan. Wow, in Japan. Japan, oh, wonderful. Where? In Japan. Yes. In Where to exactly? Tokyo, in, in Tokyo. Wow. Yeah. Nice. And yes, long time How ago. How long did you stay in Japan? Mm, three weeks. Three wow. Three weeks, yes. Did you go somewhere, um, somewhere around Japan or did you stay in Tokyo? Uh, I the most of the time in uh, in in Tokyo. I was also visit um, uh, um, the gardens. Uh, how do they, they call? It? Didn't you go to Kyoto? Si, Nara. Kyoto in, in Kyoto, that's yeah. Kyara, Nara. See si, Kyoto. I remember I went. Si, yeah. Yes, they're not too far. Nara, she, she, okay, Shikakuen is in Japanese. Um, the park of the um, deers, the deer park. But have you been to Japan? Yes, Maria Pia, several times, eh? <laughs> not several times, only once for two oh. months. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, yeah. um, Shikakuen, uh, the, the deer park in Nara, do you remember Nara? No. Maybe you didn't go. No, I didn't. Uh, yes. Wow. Anyway, yeah, because it's it's not far from Tokyo, and uh, they are very, how can I say, famous places. So uh, I thought you might have gone there. 
Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember you... many many of my colleagues went uh, everywhere. I was uh, when I was in Japan. I was uh, uh, trying to do something for my the the my mio suocero. How do you say? My father-in-law. Father-in-law. Yes. Is a violin maker. Was ah. a violin maker because he's, he died now. Um, and I was trying to, I, I knew that the violin, the Italian violin maker is um, more requested in uh, abroad. And I was uh, going around Tokyo to all the music school to, to introduce, uh, to, make, to give a uh, um, part, uh, how do you say, a volantino? Una, una... A card, yes. A leaflet. A leaflet. A card. Sì, il leaflet e il volantino. Pensavo che volesse sì. dire dargli il bigliettino. A, brochure, a brochure also. Yes. And uh, it was a good occasion, occasion to see uh, not only the tourist uh, places, uh, but, but also the kernel yeah. of, the, of the town, the, the, the places that uh, you usually don't go. Um, so. Yes. And what was your impression of Japan? How did you like it? Well, they are very perfect organized. And uh, I remember there was um, a street, the Lavori is a street uh, fixing uh, in, uh, just in front of, of our um, hotel. Mm -hmm. And uh, in about one <laughs> few days, everything was be perfect, uh, perfect fixed. <laughs> Fixed and in Italy to... would be many, many weeks, many months. <laughs> and so, yeah, the, uh, technolo the technology. I think uh, we. I remember some something of the by about the phone uh, or the technology that just now we arrived at that time, but it's yeah. They they were many years yeah. ago. I remember I went to there. Now I graduated in 1987, and I went to there in 1987. I'm very old, anyway. Yeah. And um, and I remember that the televisions already had remote controls, and uh, you could choose whether to watch a movie in the original language or with subtitles yeah. or with the, the uh, you know, trans translation, simultaneous tr translation in Japanese. So you could choose whether to see a, an American movie in English, English with the Japanese subtitles or in Japanese. We don't have that option yet. Huh? Sorry? We don't have this option yet. In Not our... yet. And okay. it was 1987. Yeah. In Japan, they already had it everywhere in the houses. I was, I stayed in normal houses and on the uh, remote control, there was the possibility as if uh, now on, on the internet, you can usually yes, click and see the subtitles. On the internet, but not on the television. I would like to no, have- you're right, like you're right, yes. Now on the internet, you can click and see the subtitles, yeah, yeah, but course. not on televisions. Not on television. In Japan, on televisions, you could have the subtitles, see the movie in the original language, whatever it was, or see it in Japanese. Yeah, that's really nice, really. Yeah, it was. I kept, you know, listening part of it in English because it's easier for me. And, and then when I started to understand again, I switched back to Japanese and then, oh no, no, back to English, <laughs> back to Japanese. Because <laughs> Japanese was still very difficult for me. Yeah. So I couldn't understand everything. When I went to England in the 80s, I mean 1980s, I discovered the microwaves because we, I, I had never seen a microwave before. And so <laughs> then when I came back to Italy, I said, I must buy a microwave. It's really <laughs> compulsory. <laughs> yes. What I brought back from Britain was a kettle. Very useful. From that moment onwards, I'm never without a kettle. But you mean an electric <laughs> kettle? Not yes, a, not, yes. Well, no. I, 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 would beep, beep, I, I, beep, I would be dead without my electric kettle. Why? 
Well, because it's really compulsory for me, the electric kettle. I oh, mean, yes, I thought you were get, uh, you were no, dead no, without, I would be lost without it. Oh, I would yes. be dead, not lost, dead, because I use it. Oh, dead, yes. I, I use, I think I use it three or four times a day. Yes. And the and microwave the... six or, four, or six, six or seven times a day. They are really compulsory. I could go on without an oven, but not without a microwave. Exactly. Uh, microwave and the kettle. And from Japan, I brought a sui hanki. Sui hanki sui is the same ideogram for water, han for rice, and ki for machine. So sui hanki is a, a machine where you put water, rice, you close it, and you know, uh, the water uh, gets, uh, the, the rice gets cooked. Uh, by itself, you don't need to steer it or do anything about it. And of course, you can also use it uh, um, to make things uh, um, uh, steamed. Uh, yeah. But you mean basmati rice, basmati rice. Basma they mainly had the basmati rice, but you can do it with any kind of rice, to be honest. And I also use it a lot. I use it a lot to make a steamed, uh, you know, uh, food, especially vegetables and so on, uh -huh. and to make rice. So kettle from Britain and suihanki from Japan are yeah. basic in my kitchen. <laughs> and, and, and luckily, what did you buy? What, what did you get back from America? <laughs> I never went to the States. I've never been to the States. Oh, and right. I think I brought it back from Japan, which I used a lot at the time, but I'm not using it anymore, was a, a, a what is it, a typing mach machine, um, which you, a typer, which you could, where you could switch from, uh, you know, the European alphabet uh -huh. to the Japanese kanji. Um, ideograms yes, and nice. that was very useful because before that I couldn't type anything in Japanese I could only write it because yeah. of course uh, I couldn't make the ideograms nowadays uh, there are special um, applications on the computer so you can type in Japanese um, so I don't use it anymore but uh, I still have it and uh, it was, ah, oh, I've got a typewriter where you ca I can write both in Italian and in J or, or English and in Japanese. Mm -hmm. It was a small computer, to be honest. I could also make uh, uh, little um, designs, images, uh, especially linked to, to their uh, festivities, uh, like uh, at the meeting of the uh, sun and the, and the moon, these kind of things, you know, mm, uh, traditional festivities. Um, so that was very, very nice, but I don't use it anymore now mm -hmm. uh, because uh, with a computer you can do it, uh, but that was very good. But the Sui Hanki, I still use it a lot. The rice boiler. How would you call it? The rice boiler. Also. Yeah, maybe. A rice cooker. Rice cooker, yes. Rice cooker. But it's not only for rice. So you can do anything, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, uh, steamed. A uh, fatto vapore. Yeah. So, what about you, Francesco? What did you uh, bring back from Japan? Uh, something uh, is a lot of technology things. Uh, uh, I didn't remember how it was. Um, see, um, I bought a laptop in Singapore, for example. Oh, see. Um, una, una portatile. Yeah. Io l'ho preso per esempio a Singapore. It was oh. very cheap and mm. good. Yeah. yeah. So, Antonella. Where is the farthest place you have been to? Il posto più lontano dove sei andata? Um, yes, I understand. Um, Bo, I visited the Europe um, because I like Europe be, be, uh, more than other um, parts of the world. Of the world. So, but if uh, uh, when the, the pandemic uh, finished, finished. I I visit all the world, all the world. Okay, uh, but I think the far the farest um, the far uh, place. Farthest. 
farthest place uh, I visit, uh, maybe it is uh, um, Ireland, uh, maybe, or Spain. Spain. I don't know the kilometers because uh, in, yeah. uh, in Ireland I went um, by plane and in, um, in Spain I, um, I went by the camper. Camper is correct. Yeah, camper. motorhome, motorhome, yeah. Okay, motorhome. By motorhome. Uh, with I've got the motorhome, motorhome you, too. You don't realize how many kilometers you do. No, you're right. You're right. It's a different way of traveling. Yes. You go and then stop because when you I want. I remember to. that in uh, a few days we we have uh, visited many many places and we have uh, we did uh, four thousand kilometers. Wow. Four 4,000 in, in a few days, maybe yeah. five days. Uh, yeah. It is incredible because in, uh, with the modern home, you can travel easy, very easy. Yes, it's okay. very easy, yes. You, you are hungry, you stop, eat something, relax, and then you go on a little bit, and then you find something interesting and go and visit it, but maybe one hour, two hours, and then you go on a little bit more, and you know, mm -hmm. in uh, in a few days, you can you can see a lot and travel a lot. Yeah. Yes, uh, you don't it's realize awesome. how many uh, how many um... how far you can go. Yes, yes, it is incredible. Only when you look uh, in the in the number in the uh, near the where we did you drive. Map. Yes, <laughs> only. But uh, I went... say, Ooh, I've done all this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, but so if can... you need to go from here to there mm -hmm. by motorhome, you never, <laughs> you never, you, you got the impression you'll never arrive because uh, by car you go quick. By mm -hmm. motorhome, it's a different way of traveling. Different, very if you different. need to go from here to there, you have to go by car. But if you simply want to go around the world, discover the world, you go by motorhome. It's very pleasant, very easy going, very. And by the end of the day, you realize you have traveled quite a lot. <laughs> yes, yes. But uh, the first uh, thing I wanted to do when the pandemic will finish is um, to, to go to walking because I, I like walking for several days. And uh, I'm, I'm doing um, a walk with my husband. Uh, we started from Padova, North Padova, and we arrive now uh, near the Tuscany. And we want near to- Tuscany? Yes. Is there a bike or a no, no. track? A track by, by food, by foot. Yes, I know you want to go on foot, but uh, I was wondering, is there a, a proper track? La, yes, la yes, costa. it is called the Camino of Sant'Antonio. The Camino Santa... di Sant'Antonio. Yes. And you have to cross uh, the Pennines, of course. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, one, in one day, uh, the terrible, there was the, the, the most terrible day, we, we passed three mount, mountains. And it is very, very... How many kilometers? About uh, oh, maybe 25, 27, not... Uh, not uh, but in mountains, but it's, it's, up, in, it's yes. all up and down. Up and down. It can up be very down. tiring. Yeah. Yes. But can I you... like very much because you can say, you can see uh, some areas that uh, uh, normally you can't visit. Because no. it is um, out of the, the out. principal way, and there is yeah. no traffic, no no people. It is fantastic for me. So you've already done it before. L'hai già fatto prima. Yes, yes. You want to redo it? Yes. Uh, but Have you I been don't, to the? I don't yeah. finish the the Camino. I don't finish. Uh, because the pandemic uh, stopped the, me and my husband, and we can uh, ah, uh, go. Uh, uh, because yeah. the, the hotel or the house that we can where we can uh, sleep or eat yeah, had booked uh, are closed now. Are closed. Were closed. Uh, yeah. Had to close down. Yes. Yes. All the hotels and so on had to yeah. close down. Yes. Yes, um, after when, dopo il when, di solito ci va il verbo al presente, when the 
pandemic finishes, okay. I'll go. I'll go somewhere. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Actually, it's not after when. It's uh, when there are two sentences in the but future. Also after when? It's correct, Maria Pia. Okay. Yes, right. but uh, no. But you can say when I'll be. Yes, uh, but when there are two. When, I, when, when there I are two exactly two, two sentences, the main one goes in the future. The secondary ones. Yes, one the point. goes That's in. The rule. Yes, the I'm sorry. I have to go because I need to talk to the social worker because we have a problem at school and oh. it's me the one who has to face it tomorrow morning at uh, 10 to 8. It's me. Okay. So I'm sorry. Okay. I need to be going. No problem. So bye, bye, Adriana. Bye. Thank you for being with us. Yes, bye -bye. I'm very happy to. Yes, I'm very happy to have seen you again. Anyway, yes, so when the pand pandemic finishes, um, what will you do? Oh, you're, you're all. What will you do, Sabrina, when the pand pandemic finishes? Will you go somewhere? Yes, I think uh, I organized uh, an uh, infinity holiday. <laughs> Where yes. to? Around the world. Around the world. <laughs> Around the world. Some mm, the place is not important. The place is not important, but I need uh, to um, to make a um, a long trip. Huh? A long yeah. trip. I need to to go uh, to Uganda to find my brother. Uganda, you mean? In Uganda, he lives in Uganda. Ah, we Uganda. Have a family, ah. Uganda, in the middle of uh, Africa. Does your father, does your brother live in Uganda? Yes, yes, with oh, uh, his right. He's married uh, with, uh, with girl, a, a woman from there. A Ugandan oh. girl, uh, yes. Wow, and, fantastic. Uh, he has got two boys. Yeah. Two and two boys. Little What's boys. What's Uganda like? I've never been there. Uh, well, it's uh, fantastic. It's uh, different uh, from uh, uh, yes. other places. Uh, yeah, uh, it's from different. Italy. What is Uganda? It? Yes, not from Italy. From Brazil, from uh, Turkey, <laughs> from Turkey, yeah. from yeah. Uh, different from uh, the the rest of the place. Uh, uh, that uh, I you have been, been to. Uh, yes, I mean you to. have been yes. to. Yes, and what's uh, uh, nice about Uganda? The best uh, thing you can say about Uganda? Uh, you are uh, in a different uh, world. <laughs> the way <laughs> of living. Yes, uh, because uh, uh, is. Um, there is very confusion because uh, uh, he lives uh, in the capital, in Kampala. In Kampala, is the capital of the Uganda, uh, and uh, there there are much confusion, uh, a lot of traffic, uh, and uh, you can see uh, people uh, on uh, the bicycle, three or. Uh, uh, three or more people are uh, up uh, the same One bicycle. bicycle. Uh, yes, <laughs> uh, and up uh, you can uh, see. Uh, you could you could see um, uh, transport uh, transporting fridge fridge or uh, um, some. Um, uh, boxes, uh, big boxes, uh, uh, up uh, the the bicycle, <laughs> and uh, you mean fridge? Really... You mean frigorifery? Yes, fridge uh, or uh, on the bicycle. Impossible, impossible things uh, you can carry on the bicycle. Uh, what What do you want? Uh, what do you How want? big were the and fridges? You... <laughs> but I, I I take a picture. I take photo. Huh? I take pictures about this uh, 
situation because uh, it's very unusual, it's very yes. strange uh, to see, but uh, to think this, huh? uh, to think uh, this, uh, this situation, this, uh, and um, there are Boda Boda. Boda Boda is a taxi with motor. But you can uh, you can uh, lay you can lay this uh, taxi this boda boda you can go up without a casco without protection is is very crazy is very crazy and uh, you can uh, um, prenotare you can uh, you can take uh, you can book uh, uh, boda boda in a uh, free, free uh, person, uh, or mom with the two boys, so the, uh, the, you can, you can see. <laughs> Isn't it this, dangerous? Uh, this uh, motor, uh, motorcycle, you can, you can, uh, you can watch uh, uh, three, four persons and uh, the police, uh, the police uh, are, mm, it's okay. Would accept it's okay. it. The yes, police would accept it's normal. It. It's a Isn't normal. Isn't it dangerous? Situation. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. But uh, it, it's normal in uh, in this place. Uh, yeah. uh, um, there are a lot of people. You can see um, uh, a villa, villas, villas, villas of rich yeah. people, of rich people. Indian, Indian people or uh, wh white people uh, uh, that lives here in uh, Kampala, uh, but uh, near, uh, close, close uh, the villas, close the, the golf club, uh, close these rich uh, stuffs, uh, you can find uh, the slums. The slums are uh, the place, uh, places uh, uh, mm -hmm. where, uh, yes, where poor, poor people, poor people yes. just uh, lives lives uh, lives uh, where in, poor uh, people live, in this yes. desperate uh, situations, and uh, in the slums you can find uh, the market, but uh, the the market is uh, the the house uh, too. The market and you live uh, uh, close the market. Uh, you you live you yeah. live uh, in your market. The is, Islam uh, is, uh, is uh, difficult to, to explain uh, this. Uh, uh, you you need, uh, yes yes uh, because uh, you are the market you are the your house you live uh, on the street on the yeah um, yes on the street yeah, yeah. and yes. uh, the um, ferrovia uh, ferrovia uh, rail, rail, railway the railway the railway, railway uh, line is very, is very particular because <laughs> You you see uh, the railway, okay? Ah, yes, the train, no train, no train. You um, can uh, see uh, people uh, go uh, up and down, up and down on uh, the. Come is it called? The binari, binari. Uh, yes, on the railway binari? line. Railway line, uh, railway yeah. lines. Yes, they they go, they go up and down, up and down. Yeah, All they the jump time. on, jump on, jump off. Uh, yes, see, no, see, yes, up because, and down uh, a train. It's uh, you say on and off a train. Yes, they jump. I never, I never see a train. We jump on and off <laughs> according to where, yes. No stations, <laughs> no proper stations. Non ci sono delle vere proper stazioni. Ti attacchi al treno e vai. It's a, it's a, um, a big situation. You, you, are, uh, you have uh, a question a new questions uh, about uh, a new picture you observe uh, uh, 
what what's happened what's happened what is this uh, but uh, it's normal for the people who lives who who live here in, uh, in the place but uh, for you uh, is uh, all all the things all uh, all the situation is um, uh, yes, really uh, and you really keep asking, you keep asking people what's this and what's that uh, how do you do yes. this yeah uh, <laughs> but uh, for, for must the be shocking. People, um, no, it must be yes. shocking. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, more, uh, more than um, when I, uh, I have been in Brazil, Brazil, in, uh, Fortaleza, Brazil in Fortaleza, Brazil in Fortaleza. Mm, uh, Brazil is. Uh, mm, more more simple more uh, the situations uh, are um, more uh, close uh, to the to the normal situations yeah, uh, more, you can keep, more similar uh, to our more similar, more similar yeah. to our yes, but, uh, in the virus. middle of africa <laughs> everything is africa yes. is africa <laughs> africa is you africa. can you can you have to move your brain <laughs> yes to yes start questions. a new start <laughs> a new yes. start a new and uh, yes yes <laughs> i got i can imagine when you came back how shocking it must have been Maybe it's yes, uh, shocking uh, as you went there. Imagine when you were in the house, it was a shock. The same shock that you tried when you were in the house, probably. Yes, but it is very interesting because uh, your brain uh, has to move, uh, to think, yes. to uh, search. It really uh, up your mm -hmm. mind. Yes, yes, yes different it really way. opens up your mind. Yes, yes. different way. To, to live, uh, to, yes. to think, uh, yes. uh, the youth uh, is uh, not, uh, um, not, 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 not important. Uh, you are a number. You are a number. You, are you a mean number. here in Europe or there in Africa? Uh, in Uganda. In Uganda. You, in Uganda. Are, uh, very, very, you are a number. What mm. do you mean? It's very difficult to, to grow, uh, to grow up in Uganda, uh, to uh, to grow up uh, in uh, a better way. Yeah. If you um, you uh, re reach uh, this, uh, if you seri seri if you um, manage to, it, if you manage uh, to, you, yes, thank you. If you manage to uh, to grow up, uh, you are uh, lucky. You are lucky. <laughs> you are lucky man, lucky lucky woman. Yes. Because they are very poor. Is uh, every day is a uh, scommessa. Yes. Uh, every yes. single day mm. is a challenge. Yes. Ogni giorno è una sfida, sarebbe a challenge. Mm -hmm. a challenge, day. yes. Yeah. Mm. Does your brother live with his family in Kampala, the capital? Yes, in Kampala, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's different in smaller villages. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I... I never, never been in the in a villa in a very in a very village. I've never been to village. Doesn't no. he miss Italy? Doesn't your brother miss Italy? Doesn't yes, the past, uh, uh, he's planning uh, to <laughs> uh, come back in Italy with uh, his family, but uh, he. Has got an uh, agenda, uh, um, a society, and uh, he is uh, uh, aviando, aviando, la sta aviando. 
is starting. Yes. And uh, after this, uh, after. Sorry, uh, what, is, what are they starting? Cos'è che stanno avviando? Mm, non avviando. Uh, aspetta, Maria Pia. Allora, sta mm, cercando di, di uh, assen non assegnarla. Uh, he's starting to uh, non cederla. Mm, tipo Ma come si dice? Che, scusa, che, che cosa? Mi sono perso un po'. Allora, lui uh, sta cercando di avviarla bene, nel senso che la deve dare in gestione, ecco, in gestione. He's Ma ma che cosa? Una fattoria? La, la sua società di ah. pompe eh, di aspirazione d'acqua, plumping. Ok, water di, pumps. Water pumps, water yes. Pumps, yes. yes. Yeah, ah, ok. He's trying to start it so as to, uh, you know, give it... Under in, in gestione, yes, under somebody else's supervision. Mm -hmm. And after uh, the COVID situation, he is thinking to and he's back planning to, to come back with his family to Italy, yes, because um, right. Italy right. is better to grow up uh, the children. Yes, yes. Mm. I think it's yeah. less dangerous and especially if you need a hospital or I don't know, it can be easier here. What if you need a hospital in, in Uganda, for example? The hospital uh, is, uh, is very difficult uh, because uh, you have to pay all the services uh, uh, about your uh, it's your, only for uh, rich people uh, yes yes you have to to pay uh, more money yeah yeah yes and what about the schools and the schools too the schools uh, are for rich people you have uh, to pay you have to pay to about, go to uh, yes uh, um, the kindergarten uh, is uh, about uh, minimum uh, three or uh, four uh, million uh, e euros in a year. Three or four minimum. Three or four, three or four million. Mil euros. What do you mean by million? Million of what? Uh, 3 4 mila euro all'anno. Ah, 3 4 thousand euros. Ah, thousand. 3 4 thousand euros per year. Minimum. Yeah. Minimum. Which is and, a lot uh, for them. Which I suppose oh. is a lot for them as well because, uh, yeah. Guardate tutti, vi lascio, che devo che mi chiamano. Oh, sorry. Ciao. Okay. Scusate Have a tanto. good evening, everyone. Ciao. Bye, 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 thank you for being with bye. us. Bye. 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 Bye.